Hi again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract morphological information from texts processed using the Spacey library. Morphemes are the smallest meaningful units in a language. And there are two types of morphemes, free morphemes, which can stand on their own, and bound morphemes, which attach to other morphemes. So these morphemes shape the external form of a word, and these particular forms are then associated with particular grammatical functions. Just to give you an example from the English language, you can use a bound morpheme S and attach it to the end of a noun to create a plural form. Spacey performs morphological analysis automatically and stores the result under the attribute called morph for every token object. So in this cell we're looping over each token in the doc object and then we print out each token and its morphological information. So as you can see from the output, most tokens contain morphological information. To retrieve morphological information in a programmatic way, we must use the get method available for the morph attribute. So the get method takes a Python string as input and in this case we want to get the aspect of the 23rd token in the doc object. So if I run this cell, Spacey will return us morphological information in a list as you can see from the surrounding brackets. And this list contains a single item perf which refers to the perfective aspect. So what you want to do in most cases is to retrieve all the morphological information available. And this can be achieved very easily using the toDict method, which converts the output into a dictionary. A dictionary is a Python data structure that consists of key and value pairs. Python dictionaries are marked using curly brackets, and each key and value pair is separated by a colon. These pairs, in turn, are separated by commas. So let's just use the toDict method to retrieve morphological information for this token. And as you can see, we have three different key value pairs in this dictionary. One for mood, one for tense, and one for verb form. You can use the key to retrieve the corresponding value from a Python dictionary. So what I'm going to do here is I'm assigning the dictionary that contains the morphological information under the variable morph dict, and I'm then placing the key mood as a string within brackets right after the dictionary name to retrieve the value for this key. And what we get in this case is indicative or end. To sum it up, morphological information imposes a lot of structure on free text and you definitely should learn how to leverage this information for structuring and exploring your data. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and see you soon.